Can a family who has occupied a property for over three decades lose their home to someone who secured the title much later through a juridical act? Subscribe to our channel to receive vital legal information that could save your life one day. Manxi v. Heirs of Lopez, Jr., GR No. 262034, May 22, 2024 On March 9, 2017, Mercuria B. Maxi, represented by her daughter Maria Frances M. Mangoan, filed a complaint against the heirs of Ignacio A. Lopez, Jr., Delia de Guzman Lopez, Lorraine de Guzman Lopez, and Rodolfo Barnachia, Sr., for forcible entry and damages, docketed as Civil Case No. 14049. Maxi, who had been an employee of the Department of Public Works and Highways, DPWH, in Baguio City from 1964 to 2004, had resided at the National Government Dormitory, Dormitory I, in Jungle Town, Engineers Hill, Baguio City. She became a member of the Engineers Hill Lotless Homeseekers Association Incorporated, Association. Maxi applied for lot number 50, SW01-01039, on March 20, 1981 and was awarded the lot after due proceedings as she had occupied it since 1981. She built a bodega on the lot, which was converted into a residential house after a major earthquake in 1991. In 1993, she declared her residential house for tax purposes, in 2016, Rodolfo, acting on behalf of the heirs of Lopez, Jr., threatened Maxi's children with demolition or legal action if they did not vacate the property. In their absence, the respondents enclosed the property with GI sheets, wood, and interlink fences, blocking access and stationing dogs on the property. The respondents claimed the lot occupied by Magsi was lot number 50, while theirs was lot number 49. They argued Magsi had never occupied lot number 49 but had surreptitiously erected a shanty on their property, lower court decisions the municipal trial court in cities. MTCC, ruled in favor of Magsi, ordering the respondents to surrender possession of the property to her and to pay attorney's fees and filing fees. The Regional Trial Court, RTC, affirmed this decision. However, the Court of Appeals, CA, reversed the lower court's decisions, dismissing Magsi's complaint for forcible entry, and holding that the heirs of Lopez, Jr., as holders of a Torrens title over lot number 49, had a stronger claim to possession as an attribute of ownership. Primary issue in the Supreme Court, is Maxi entitled to possession over the subject property? The Supreme Court granted the petition, ruling in favor of Maxi. The court emphasized that an action for forcible entry is primarily concerned with prior physical possession of the property and not ownership. It held that Maxi had proven her prior physical possession of the subject property since 1991, and that the respondents had forcibly entered the property in 2016. The CA's application of constructive possession as an attribute of ownership did not supersede Maxi's well established prior physical possession. The court reinstated the MTCC's decision ordering the respondents to surrender possession to Maxi. Important Doctrines Prior Physical Possession in actions for forcible entry, the primary issue is prior physical possession of the property, not ownership. The person with prior physical possession is entitled to retain possession against subsequent possessors, possession de facto versus possession de jure. The court's decision in forcible entry cases should be based on possession de facto, physical possession, rather than possession de jure, legal ownership. The unlawful deprivation, even if the respondents were the rightful owners, they could not take the law into their own hands and forcibly eject the occupants. Lawful procedures must be followed to resolve possession disputes. These doctrines underscore the importance of physical possession in forcible entry cases and the necessity of resolving such disputes through proper legal channels rather than forceful actions. Subscribe to our channel to stay informed about crucial legal principles that can protect your rights and properties. Do you have legal question? Ask and we shall answer that in the next video content.